Now, the most important function that it formulates the monetary policy of a country. What is monetary policy? Monetary policy is the policy adopted by the central bank to influence the volume and composition of money supply in the economy. Monetary policy is the policy that the central bank or RBI formulates or makes. It is to control credit. So monetary policy is made by RBI and physical policy to influence the economy is made by the government. The government through its means of public debt, public expenditure and taxation influences the economic activities. Now, here we are talking about the monetary policy which is made by RBI. This is a question which you are often asked. Who makes the monetary policy? RBI, government, local bodies. Or so. so, monetary policy is made by RBI. And who formulates the physical policy? The government formulates the physical policy. Now, monetary policy, what, how does it make the monetary policy? There are two types of instruments. The main purpose of monetary policy is to control credit. Now, how does it do that? It does that by using two types of instruments it uses to control credit. First is quantitative or general measures and the second is qualitative or selective measures. Now here first it is important that you understand the difference between quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative is the one which controls the quantity of credit in the market. Qualitative is which or selective is which applies to us selective section of the economy. If they want to curtail credit to a selective section, there they apply it. So it is the selective measure and quantitative is a general measure. What are the measures, quantitative measures that they adopt? First and foremost is the bank rate policy. This is the most important and this is the most primitive method that have been used by RBI to control credit. Bank rate policy. Bank rate policy is the rate or bank rate is the rate at which RBI discounts the bills of commercial bank. The rate at which it discounts the bills of commercial banks. It is also known as a discount policy. In simpler terms, you can also say the rate at which the commercial bank borrows from the central bank. Now, if central bank wants to control credit or curtail credit, it does. It wants that their money supply in the economy should be less. I should reduce it. What will it do? It will increase the bank rate. What will happen when it will increase the bank rate? The borrowings of commercial banks will become expensive. The borrowings of commercial banks will become expensive. They'll be uh, lesser. They'll not be interested in borrowing more from the central bank because the central bank is charging such a high rate. They'll be dissuaded from borrowing, which will show an impact on the borrowings of the businessmen because when their borrowings are affected, their lendings will also be affected. The amount of money that they give out, their lendings will also become expensive. So the businessmen will also be dissuaded from borrowing from the commercial banks because their borrowings have also become expensive. So this way, they will also borrow less. They will invest less. There will be more, less of production. The income will come down. The demand will come, out, come down. This is how they influence the credit in the or the money supply in the market by increasing the bank rate. When they want more money supply in the market, they follow it the other way. They reduce the bank rate. Commercial banks are encouraged to borrow more. They borrow more. They lend more. People also borrow more money. They put in more in investment. The income increases and the demand increases. So this is how the bank rate policy works for RBI.
Bank rate policy. Bank rate is the rate at which the RBI discounts the bills of commercial banks. It is also known as a discount policy. Second is the open market operations. Market means, what do we mean by the term market? Market talks about selling and buying. So open market operations are selling and buying of securities. Now the RBI is not dealing with the public, it is dealing with the commercial banks. So it sells security when they want to control credit. They sell securities. What happens when they sell securities? They take the money and they sell securities. When they take the money, the money supply of the commercial banks, that reduces. Same pattern follows. The borrowings, they have less money to lend out to people. The interest rate goes up. People are dissuaded from borrowing. They borrow less. They invest less. And the production comes down. The income comes down. And the demand comes down. This is how they control the credit in the economy by selling security. When they want to increase credit in the economy, they buy securities. RBI buys securities from the commercial bank. It buys and gives them more money. They have more money. Commercial banks have more money. They give more money to businessmen. Businessmen invest. Production increases. Income increases. Demand increases. So this is how open market operations works. Now variable reserve requirements. Variable reserve requirement. Reserve means the stock. RBI asks the commercial banks to maintain two types of reserves. One is SLR or the statutory liquidity ratio and the second is CRR, the cash reserve ratio. SLR, the banks have to maintain with themselves and CRR, they have to maintain with the RBI, cash reserve ratio. What maintain? The total deposit that they have a certain percentage of their deposit they have to keep as reserve with the RBI. That is their CRR. A certain percentage of their deposit they have to keep with themselves as a reserve. That is SLR, statutory liquidity ratio. When RBI wants to control the credit, it increases this rate, the reserve ratio. Reserve increases, they have to keep more amount of their deposit with RBI more amount of deposit as reserve with themselves. So their liquidity or the money that they can lend out is reduced. So by increasing the reserve ratio, RBI controls credit. Last is the repo rate and reserve repo rate. Repo, as the term suggests, is a short form of repurchase. Repo, as the word suggests, is repurchase. When they have to repurchase of securities. Securities are sold with a promise of buying back in a short period of time. So what does the commercial bank and the RBI? When commercial bank needs money, it buys, it gives its security to RBI and RBI gives money to the commercial bank with a promise that they are going to buy back these securities in a short period of time with a more amount of money. And similarly, reserve repo is when RBI, when RBI needs to cut down the uh, supply, they borrow money or they take the, they give the securities and take the money with the purpose of buying it back. So that is the reserve repo rate. Repo means repurchase of securities in a short period of time. So it is lending uh, between the reserve bank and commercial bank in a short period of time by selling and purchasing securities for a short period. So quantitative wise, there are four policies that it follows. It is the bank rate open market operations, variable reserve requirement and repo rate and reserve repo rate. Now the other instrument that it uses to control credit is the qualitative measure. Qualitative or selective measure as the term suggests 
controlling the quality it affects the quality of credit in the market and it is a selective measure it is used it is this kind of policy is used to affect not economy as a whole but it affects a, sec, a selected section of economy so for that what do they do S securing loans by fixation of margin requirements now when you have to borrow what happens when you borrow from a section you have to give sir you have to mortgage a uh, some amount of thing if you want a loan of 1 lakh you have to mortgage something you have to mortgage so the value of that mortgage they increase so similarly rbi also does that it increases the margin requirements that you have to keep for borrowing purpose you have to keep more and more securities the commercial banks have to keep for that sector so it uh, in, like the uh, it does not disencourages you from buying or giving loan to that particular sector then consumer credit regulation how does it consumer affect the consumer credit consumer takes a credit by making a certain amount of down payment and for a fixed time period so what does rbi does it increases it reduces your time period and increases your down payment you have to pay more and you have to repay it in a shorter period of time so all these things dissuade people from taking loans then it gives out directives at times oral at times written to the central uh, to the commercial banks that they have to follow then they also release orders that credit they ration the credit that only this much of credit will be given to that particular section then moral suasion is that morally they try to dissuade people if they want to control uh, credit they dissuade people from uh, buying morally then direct action is that at times rbi takes direct action and they do not want uh, credit to be given to a certain section then they take a direct and strict action and stop credit uh, from credit going to that particular section so these are certain qualitative or selective measures that rbi takes